Okay guys, it's Alicia Brown Sugar in the game Draw Something 2. I'm going to do a video replay of me, Alicia Brown Sugar, drawing Tyrion Lannister. to do it at an angle so that it can show up properly. I think this will be a good one. Hope you like it. A Lannister always pays his debts. So I decided to use a red background, um, don't know why, um, and I did an outline using pencil. I did two different colors because the reference picture that I used, um, there was like a really big shade difference. So, um, I'm using pencil first to do the, sh do the coloring. As you can see, I'm doing the hair with like many different colors, many different shades of brown. It's going to cover up the red, so I just didn't feel like um, filling that in until I got to it. I have to have it at an angle so that you could see it better, um, because, I don't know, my camera doesn't capture it properly. But I'm basically using many different shades of brown to do his hair. I spent a lot of time on his hair. I'm still using the pencil. Basically once you get the outline of the character's face and hair and stuff, then it's easier for you to um to draw the person. The hardest part might be just getting the outline. Because after that you just have to add things. I'm adding his tie and still working on his hair. And now I'm using the watercolor to do some shading. First I did some thick shading, and then after that, um, can't see it yet, but I'll start using thin lines to do some strands of hair too. But right now I'm doing thick shading. Now you see that I'm using thinner strands. And I decided to do the rest of his shirt so that I could do a background. You don't really have to use watercolor to um, do his clothes or anything, I just did. I guess I was just um, too lazy to, 
switch to pencil, so I just used watercolor. Here I'm using watercolor again. Now I'm finally shading in his face. As you can see, I like to map out the face before I actually draw it. That way I know where everything should go. Like, I get an idea of where everything goes. That's not exactly where everything will go, but it's close enough. That way I know where to put everything. It really helps doing that. That's why I had to do his nose um, so that I could make sure that I got his eyes right because it doesn't quite look like him yet, but it will. Basically, you have to find the light source. Once you find the light source, you will know um, where the shadings go. Like, the dark shading is everything. And I'm basically using the reference picture to tell me where all the shadows go. His scars, his shadows, everything. One good thing about um, watercolor is that it's easy to change things. So even though I kind of blended my eyebrows with the eyes, I'll be able to fix it later. You can like basically fix your mistakes easily by just going over it again in a lighter color. I'm basically still doing some shading. You can see I'm working near the eyes. Um, I use watercolor to do his eyes because it doesn't leave such a dark mark. Um, I use the white and then sort of creamish color to do his eyes, the whites of his eyes, because they're not exactly white. Um, so I wanted to make it a little bit darker. And then I use the black watercolor to do that. There I use the the white or a lighter color watercolor at the finest point, um, the smallest brush size. That way I could do his eyes, like the shining on his eye. You can't quite see it, but I did use green in there for his irises. But since it's in shadow, um, I basically make it a bit darker. I'm using watercolor for his mouth. Um, So 
see I actually don't even draw the line of his nose with the watercolor. I'm basically using the shading to do his nose for me. So when I do the shading, his nose forms. So you don't have to actually do an actual line for his nose for it to be defined. Because if you do shading enough, then you'll be able to see the nose. I had to kind of fix his nose again because I went a bit too dark there. You can actually see it a lot better um, in the app, but I kind of have to move it, move my camera around so you can see it a little bit better. But if I move it that way, then you can't really see the other side. You can only see the right, our right hand side, but our left kind of gets a glare with the camera. Here I'm fixing his hair again, um, because it's kind of lighter than it should. It's kind of supposed to be lighter. In the app, you could actually see where I'm doing the strands of hair with the watercolor. And his shirt is too dark to be seen through my camera on my phone, but um, he has a shirt as well. Doing a little panning over so you could actually see because if I give you the left hand then you can't see the right and vice versa I love using reference pictures while I draw because I can tell where everything goes from each shadow, each mark, everything. That way after you're done, like once you start to get used to it, you can actually draw without reference pictures. Um, it obviously won't be like some famous person that but you can still draw faces without reference pictures once you get used to doing all the shading and everything and you get used to the placement of eyes and nose and mouth and ears and whatever else it's not always best to use black for shading but um, it can come in handy sometimes so that's a good color to buy um, or to keep 
in your palette, in your color palette, because that and white come in handy, and all the shades of brown, if you're doing people's faces, or people, from tan to dark brown, those come in handy. I basically f kept my palette, um, and then filled it up with all the colors that I knew I was going to use, and then I just chose from there. That way I know that the color that I'm using is one that I used before, so I don't have to worry about choosing the wrong color. It's already there. Well, that's the video replay of me drawing Tyrion Lannister. Um, you can't really get a good view of it if I hold it still. So I'm just gonna do like a flyover of it so you can see it. And that was the video replay of me drawing Tyrion Lannister from Game of Thrones. So, um, yeah, it crashed. So this was all that I was able to actually draw. So, um, I didn't get to actually completely finish it. The edges were kind of messed up, but that's what I have. Hope you like it. Draw something too, Alicia Brown Sugar.